Welcome to this tutorial by TomWillFixIt.com. Today we're going to cover how to book airline flights using a website called Airlingas.com. So first we start at our main page, Google, and we just type in Airlingas. Okay, so we're on the main Airlingas website. So I'm going to walk through the steps on how to select uh, a flight and then how to enter your details, credit card details and how to actually submit your booking. Okay, so first things first, we're going to fly from Dublin. So as you can see in this box, uh, there's a drop down menu and you can select any airport you want in any country. But for our case, we want to select Dublin. Okay, so we're flying from Dublin and we want to fly to Greece. So we select Athens. Okay, so now we have to pick the date. There's two ways we can pick the date. First, we can select the drop down and select the 10th of March. Okay, you'll notice that the returning date has changed to match this. The second way to select the date is to use the calendar. Okay, so we're going to come back on St. Patrick's Day. We're going to keep the dates flexible, which means that you may be offered a flight before the 10th or after the 17th. It's, it's not set in stone. Okay, we want to select for two adults. Okay, so we're happy now. Whenever we click book now, it's going to show us a list of flights that, that match our criteria. Okay. As you can see from this, <laughs> flights do not operate on your selected travel dates. So, what now? We can go back to our plan by moving back one page. And we can change the city that we're going to. So we'll change it to Boston. Again, we want to fly out on the 10th of March. And we want to come back on the 17th of March. And again, we're going to get tickets for two adults. Select book now. Okay. So here you can see in blue the actual price of the flights. Um, so fly out on the 10th is 358 euro, and if come back on the 17th is 235. If you're happy with these dates and these prices, you can just scroll down to the bottom. This will give you the total price after taxes and charges. Okay, so if you're happy with that, we can click continue. If you want to change your return date and come back on the 20th instead, simply select the 20th and the price will be updated. Okay, so we can see now the price has gone up to 660. So now that we're happy that we're flying out on the 10th and we're coming back on the 20th, we can select continue. Okay, there's a bit more information on this page, but it's nothing to worry about. This will tell us how long the flight takes. And it gives us a few other options for uh, upgrading our seats basically to flex or business. You can just leave the default button selected. And again, you'll see at the bottom here, this is your overall price for the flights. Okay, so we select continue. Okay, so again, there's a lot of detail in this page. I recommend just taking your time and just reading through. Gives you your flight numbers, gives you the time it leaves, the date, and the time you leave Boston coming back. Okay. You'll also see options for upgrading. Uh, typically this is for better seats or some sort of additional um, bonuses that the airlines offer. You can just ignore that for now. Um, typically on this page everything you see is optional so you can just skip past it. Okay, so here we can see the total for the fares. It's 438 
per person. The taxes and charges are 222 and the total is 1345. So if we're happy with this price, we just tick this box and hit continue. Okay, so it's very important that we get this page right. It's important that every piece of information you enter here matches your passport. So we're going to put in information for Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mr. Bob Smith. And Mrs. Mary Smith. Okay. Then we simply follow the steps. Put in the gender. Put in the date of birth. Now remember this has to match your passport exactly. Okay. This part can be ignored. Now we scroll down. So it's it's good practice to give an email address that you check often because they may send you details about delays to your flight or changes in flight times. So you put in um, just your standard email address. Bob Smith at hotmail.com and just confirm that that's right. Okay, it's also important to give a, a mobile number that you can be contacted on. Again, this is in case the airline needs to make a change to your flight still, we'll give you a call. And we'll just give it a fake number. Okay. So if you'd like to um, receive a text message confirming your booking, this can be very useful because typically people carry their mobiles around with them. So I'm just going to select yes. Okay. So we just scroll down to the bottom and again we can see our price here. That's what we're going to um that's what we're going to be paying for our flights. Now we select continue. Okay, so this is where we select our baggage. If you're going on a long holiday you may require more than one bag. So we can select two bags, that cost us 50 euro. Uh, for Mary Smith, we'll select two bags, that's another 50 euro. And these prices will be added on at the end. Okay, so I recommend just um, taking your time and just scrolling down and just reading, in particular the headings of each section. Okay, so in that case, it's the advanced seat selection where you can basically go through and select whatever seat you want to sit on. Uh, you, will, you will be charged for that. If you want to skip that section, we can just go to confirm and that will take us through to the next page. Okay, so again, these are all extras that, that are being offered. Insurance, lounge, car parking, car hire. We can just skip right past all these and just down at the bottom right hand corner Select continue. Okay, so it's given us a warning here just reminding us that travel insurance is important and that you should have travel insurance. That's fine, you can buy that through the post office or from a, a third party insurance vendor. Uh, you can see here your bags are 100 euro each. Uh, we just keep scrolling down and we actually have to tick this box okay that's just saying that you don't require any travel insurance and that you're going to buy it from a, a different party and we scroll down to the bottom again and we select continue okay 
So it's brought us back to the same page and it's telling us that the car parking, please choose one of the options below to add airport car parking for this booking. So if we scroll down to airport car parking, okay, and we select no, I do not require airport car parking. Okay, now we're at the bottom of the page, select continue. Okay, now this screen will show you everything that you've selected so far. It shows you your flights, it shows you the passenger details that you've entered, as well as the check bags, two bags for Bob Smith, two bags for Mary Smith. It tells you that you're going to get a, a text message uh, regarding your booking. Okay, so this is the next important part. We need to enter our credit card details the card that we're going to use to pay for the flights and typically it's a card that you bring with you on holiday um, it's good to if there's any problems with the flights at the airport if you have the credit card that you booked the flights with it could save you a lot of hassle so we can just put in Bob's details um, Bob's going to pay by Visa uh, we just give it a dummy number just for the sake of this demo. Okay. Okay. It's very important to make sure that these details are entered correctly. So just double check everything's right before you hit um, before you hit finish. Okay. So we just put in a fake CVV number. And then we enter our address. Again, you can see here this is the actual price of your flights and your bags and all your taxes. Okay, now this part tells you how you're going to actually contact you regarding your tickets. So they're going to send you an email at bobsmith at hotmail.com, and in that email, there will be a confirmation number as well as details of everything you've paid for. Now, it's very important to print this off and bring it with you to the airport so if there are any issues you can quite easily um, give them the reference number and they can kind of confirm that everything's okay so at this point you select purchase and that will be the final step on the next page it will give you a confirmation screen to say that you've paid for your flights and you'll receive an email and a text message and so basically that's the end of this tutorial it may be a bit daunting at first to book a flight but once you've done it a few times you'll start to recognize the screens you'll recognize uh, which buttons are more important than others and what sections can be ignored okay thanks for listening